Hey guys, my name's Dave, and this is Custom Spray Mods, and this is my new car. Got this VW Tiguan, I've had it for a few months, and since then I've sprayed the chrome in a gloss black. So I blacked out the front grille, the revision mirrors, I even sprayed the roof rails in black. Uh, I also sprayed the wheels in a gloss black and, um, and a few other things. Now the brake calipers are just the standard horseshoe calipers with that metal look. Uh, and I wanted to paint them. And I also wanted to show you this awesome kit you can get from VG Auto Paints. It's a candy brake caliper kit. So basically, it comes in a range of colors and they're candy colors. So it's two layers, you get a silver and a transparent uh, top coat and it's all available in this kit. So yeah, I wanna show you that and um, paint my calipers at the same time. Let's do it. Okay, so here's what comes in the kit. You get a primer, now this is an etch primer. It's designed to go on bare metal and it's also great for calipers. Um, it comes in black, that's a black etch primer. It also comes with the silver base coat. All, all candy colors need a base. Uh, it can be gold, it can be silver. Um, in this case, it's a metallic silver. Uh, it also comes with the candy color, so there's a whole range of colors you can choose from. Uh, I've chosen candy cherry black, which is like a, a very, very dark red. So yeah, it's got like a cherry black look, got that. Um, it also comes with a clear coat, and this is a 2K clear. Um, basically that means there's two parts to it. It's got a hardener and a clear coat. You need to activate that can and then you get the chemically hardened 2K, which is awesome for calipers. Gives a nice shine, uh, chemical resistance, and it's really strong and durable and heat resistant. So I'm gonna use that clear, which comes with the kit. It also comes with some sanding sponges, which are probably the best thing to use for preparing brakes, whether it's painted or unpainted. You wanna sand them so that the primer can stick. Some few extra things that you might need, some masking tape, uh, some masking plastic to cover the car. Uh, also some cleaner, this doesn't come in the kit, wax and grease remover, or you can just use like uh, isopropyl alcohol, just something to clean before you apply the primer. Also, a good mask and some good airflow, because you're spraying two pack, you don't want to be breathing that in. So a good mask and an area where you can spray. Also, stuff to jack the car up and some jack stands. I've got all that, now I'm ready to start doing the calipers. Let's go. The first thing you need to do is loosen the wheel nuts. That way it makes it easier to undo them when the car is off the ground. Now using a jack and some jack stands, you can get the car off the ground, making sure all the wheels are in the air. Then we can take the wheels off the car and start preparing our brakes. Now I'm going to prepare the brakes for paint. I'm gonna clean them with the wax and grease remover. Then I'm going to use the sanding sponges and basically sand them so that they're nice and clean and ready for the primer. If this was a painted surface, you don't need to get the paint completely off the brakes, you just need to scuff them up so that the primer will stick. Once they're all sanded, I'm going to spray some more wax and grease remover and then clean it so it's nice and dry. Then I'll be ready to start masking up. I'm just going to tape up these brakes, so I'm just going to use masking tape and go around all the areas that I don't want there to be paint on. Now, I guarantee you, this is quicker than removing the brakes, hanging them up and painting them off the car. I've done both ways and this way is a lot quicker and honestly, you don't notice the difference. So I'm just going to go about masking up all these brakes, then I'll be ready to spray my primer. Now using the plastic, I'm going to mask up the rest of the car that I don't want paint to get on. Normally you get a lot of overspray and you don't want that overspray to land on your paintwork. So I'm just going to mask up everything, then I'll be ready to start spraying. The first step is to spray the etch primer. This is designed to go on a bare metal surface and that's going to help the paint stick. It can also be sprayed onto a painted surface and it's great for adhesion when you're painting a painted surface. This kit is also good for painting anything else like wheels or interior, anything like that. You can use this kit to paint those parts. 
Now I'm only going to spray one coat when using the primer. You don't want to have too many coats on your brakes because if it's too thick and it gets really hot then it can cause cracking. So just one light coat over the brakes covering the metal is all you need when it comes to the primer. I've waited about 15 minutes and now I can spray the silver base. Always make sure you test the cans before you actually spray the job to make sure they're spraying correctly. Again, I'm just going to cover the brakes with the silver, then I'll be ready for my next step. Now it's time for the candy paint. I'm basically just going to spray that over the silver and as you can see it's quite transparent so you may need two coats just to cover the brakes and get the correct colour. Okay, so I sanded the brakes, I cleaned them, I masked them all up, then I sprayed the black etch primer, then sprayed the silver base coat, then I sprayed a couple of coats of the black cherry candy. Now, it's time to put the clear coat on. Uh, I'm only waiting 10 minutes between these coats, so you don't need to leave it too long. Uh, you want the paint and the primer to bond together, so you don't want to let that primer dry too long, and you don't want to let those paints dry too long before you put the clear on. So I'm going to use the 2K clear. Now, at minimum, you should use a mask if you're painting the 2K clear. Really good idea to wear a mask if you're painting the 2K clear um, and have good airflow. Uh, but this is the best stuff for calipers. Basically, it dries really shiny. It, uh, it dries strong. It's solvent resistant. Um, it's uh, heat, fairly heat resistant. I mean, I've done track days and, um, and the paint has held up really well when using 2K clear. So I'm gonna use that, comes in an aerosol can. Once you activate it, you only have about a week or two to use it. If you keep it in the fridge, it'll last longer. So all you do is you put the button at the bottom. I've done a whole video on this as well. You put that on the bottom and then you press that. And that pokes a hole in the hardener. And now the hardener is mixing with the clear. I'll shake it up then I can spray the job and it'll dry nice and hard. Let's do it. I'm going to spray two coats of clear using the 2K clear. And as you can see, I'm holding the can quite close to the brakes. Uh, it's a good idea to just have fast movement, but be close to the thing you're spraying. Uh, if you spray from too far away, you can get a sandy and grainy finish and it may not be even. So I just like to have the can nice and close and go quite fast with the movement. Just going over all the hard to reach areas first and then doing the large areas second. And then after about 10 minutes, I'll come back and do another coat. I've left the brakes dry for about an hour and now I can just start unmasking. They'll still be a little bit tacky, but just be careful. So I'm unmasking the plastic, then I'll take all the tape off and the plastic and then I can start putting the wheels back on. Well, there you go. I hope you liked that video. It's a great way to make your brake calipers look really awesome and cool and get a unique finish, um, a unique paint finish. The candy colors don't come in a normal aerosol can. Most of the time you need to use a spray gun, but at VG Auto Paints you can get it in a can, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you 
can't get this stuff in your area, you can get Duplicolor, which is available uh, in most places around the world. Duplicolor make a metal cast paint that you can use on calipers. You need to use the um, silver base and a clear coat. Uh, yeah, so that is available if you can't get this stuff. Otherwise, check out vgautopaints.com.au and you can get this kit and do your own calipers, which is pretty cool. It takes a couple of hours and yeah, looks great. So be sure to check out the Facebook, Instagram, Custom Spray Mods, uh, VG Auto Paints. Um, check out the website, uh, VG Auto Paints. They sell these shirts, which are pretty cool. Everywhere I go, people always commenting that they love the shirt. So you can buy it online. Um, just search for shirts on the website and it's there. So yeah, hope you like the video and try and make some more for you guys. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for saying hello when you see me out and about. It's pretty cool. See you next time.